Greetings, everybody. Blackwood's back with another episode of Factorio. So, uh, <coughs> oh god, oh god. Um, <coughs> okay, epic fail start. Um, pardon me for that. Um, I'm stupid. Uh, because I forgot to to, to put an arm here so we, that it can get rid of the the supplies. There you go. All right. All right. We've stopped the bugs again. Uh, let us get a bunch of repair kits and fix up the defenses. And now we're gonna have to still uh, make even more laser turrets. What do we need uh, to make uh, laser turrets? In fact. Uh, let me just check this steel plate. All right, that's gonna be a pain because steel is uh, is gonna be a little bit of an issue. But right now we're working mainly on uh, the dependency of fuel blocks. All right, they're coming from the southeast now. Okay, that's. A little bit of worrisome, but not too much yet. So, uh, we got this. And this thing is sucking up all the, all the gears. Which is not as good as I thought it would be. I think now we can stop making, uh, well, stop making uh, this type of stuff. Here, let's make gears over here, because it seems like we're, we're gonna run out. So I'm just gonna build a little stockpile of gears. I just hope that it doesn't suck up all the metal. This is going well. That is going well too. Alright. Seems like we're doing okay. Uh, if metal production is doing okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm thinking here. It's uh, just again a um, little bit worried about certain aspects, but we'll see. Let's take a look at the map. Let's take a look at where what we're gonna do next. As now that we've got the um, fuel block supply, I don't think so. We're gonna need uh, too much um, extra coal. Uh, mining. Well, we might just need it as well. We only have one refinery. And sulfur is being produced at, at a really fast rate, so we're good. We've got everything we need now. Let me just pick up all the batteries. And then we're going to need steel plate in order to make this um, this stuff. Laser turret damage has been increased, which is really good. And now, what do we go with next? Advanced material processing would make us a lot more energy dependent in terms of uh, the thing, but we're gonna have to remap the entire model because these thing, the the electric furnace is a lot bigger. Lab efficiency is okay. Engines sound good as it leads to autom um, automotives, explosives, logistics three. You can get the hyper. Uh, belt except you need lubricant so that's gonna t a little bit of a pain decisions no uh, freaking let's get uh, better rounds for a gun <laughs> okay so we've got steel here but not enough. So 
So we need stone blocks and steel plates to make these new furnaces. However, I want to replace everything with electric furnaces. The only problem is there's not going to be enough room for that as uh, an electric furnace is going to take a lot of room. Hmm. I think we could just leave the fuel blocks, honestly. As they will they will keep these things going for a while. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, so let's let's actually uh, start with uh, this episode here. Uh, we are going to need to get enough turrets in order to tower creep to this area, clear it out, and bring the metals all the way down here. What we are going to need as well is we're going to need some fuel to go into this thing. So let me just pick up all the coal has been left over here. Just gonna chuck all the iron I took extra over here. And we are gonna put half and half in this furnace. And let's screw it, let's go with the electric furnaces. We're gonna need a huge power generation system in order to keep those furnaces going though. I'm just gonna build one and just gonna see what my plan's gonna be because again, you see, as you can see, I built everything compactly, so this conveyor belt will have to move up one and might have to use long arms, etc., etc., etc. Also, I wonder if I can get fuel blocks over here so that this thing can uh, run forever. The what? What? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Oh, they're all they're all dead. Okay. Oof. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. Okay, so uh, now I just need to check and see if the oil quantity is actually increasing. It is increasing, actually. These two oil deposits are pretty low. Uh, except guess what? We need steel. So, uh, yar. Let's replace those things with with these uh, advanced ones. They're way more efficient. Okay, we're gonna just use wood. Uh, gonna need a steel axe. It works a lot faster. And wood is abundant. <coughs> I did a test run on the real death world. Other LPers seem to have done like the not real death world. It's like, you know, where resources are still set to medium and bases are set to large, not like extra large. But then I'm like, you know what? We, we have to do the actual death world. I checked it out and I'm like, okay. Basically, uh, the first tryout, um, there was no iron ore a anywhere. So I'm like, okay, you know. Um, I'll, I'll leave it right for now. But then the second one started, and um, I was like, okay, this one is feasible. Only thing is, is that the, the fuel source is going to have to be wood. No question about it. <laughs> the fuel source was going to be wood. Wh wh whether you like it or not, it was going to be wood. <laughs> and what are these fuel blocks doing? And, uh, put some... Metal ore over here. Erg. Yeah, as you can see, we have a lot of miners, but still, it's like demand is outpacing uh, uh, production. So that's why we need that giant field over here. I don't know if there's a better field anywhere closer, but I think that's the closest one to a good field. So uh, we're going to have to go and expand over there. And again, metal plates are running out on the end of the line, so I'm going to have to cancel this. 
And these things are going to have to cancel out as well eventually because they're just sucking up so much freaking iron to get this, uh, these metal, uh, d these steel mills going. Let me just take all the steel here and see what I have to deal with. Uh, if we need metal plates. Guess what? There's a shortage of metal plates. Production is going to start falling dramatically in, in a few minutes. <coughs> And this is gonna get us to be very conservative. I think I just have enough room to build one extra miner over here. I'll place one extra miner down. And I could place one over here. And the rest is gonna be handled later. As this and this. Can you build them? No, no you can't. Hmm. Alright, so this thing's down to like 100 units. Yeah, we've already extracted this deposit to, to hell. So uh, we're going to have to be very, very careful in what our next moves are going to be. Okay, so at least the laser turrets are maintaining. Fuel supply is not an issue currently. It's metal plates and steel. So, uh... Uh, let's, uh, we're going to need turrets, that's for sure. And I'm going to need a lot more than that, so, uh, let me go around and get a bunch of copper. All this copper over here. I'm going to get those furnaces going. And you're out of power for some reason. There you go. Uh, okay, so now we've got this going. How many turrets can we get? We can get 11 turrets, which is okay. Now we're going to need to get those big power lines down. And we're going to go from there. Also, I'm going to go down here and pick up some stones and some bricks. <coughs> Pardon me. There you go. Stone furnaces is working. Uh... Well, the bricks. So now we can build more walls and we can fortify our positions. And we still got that miner over there that's just like sitting there. Alright, so, um. Let's get this and do this. There you go. Of course, everything's subject to change. So running around is not as bad as you might think. Usually running around means you're tapping into the entire resources of the planet. So, uh... I might actually run out of these. I think I'm gonna run out of these. The big electric poles. Yeah, I'm down to two. Down to one. And I'm out. What do you need to build these things? Steel plate! <laughs> okay, let's cancel a few of these. Let's build five of them. Okay, so tapping into this deposit without getting attacked is going to be almost impossible, so we are going to have to be very careful. Let us just reach the edge of the deposit and we'll build a fortress. Oh, and there's some oil here that we can extract. Okay, good, 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 good. Now we need to build uh, the um, ones with the bigger grid. These things. Uh, this. 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 Alright, cool, cool, cool. Now we're going to set up a defensive perimeter. Uh, we're going to build these little uh, freaking foxholes. Uh, I want to keep the oil deposit like untapped, but we're gonna see uh, of how that's gonna work. Uh, let's build like a good 15 of these. Put them around. There you go. There you go. Okay, now that this is done. We actually have uh, fortifications here. 
the only issue is um, how are the miners going to react? We've been attacked at our main base. It's just we're going to need a line that goes all the way back here. Now that might be problematic. In fact, it will be problematic. So let's just say it starts here and let's just follow the this is going a straight whoop, no 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 let's go in a straight line uh, at least as straight as it'll go from our fortified position and we're out aren't we yep and we get this tree in the middle which we need to get rid of Luckily we have a factory that is making these uh, high-speed belts, so we can just run all the way back and pick them up. So how's, the, how's our metal doing as uh, I was gone? It seems to be still doing okay. Yeah, it's just that the metal will have to come on this side of the conveyor belt. So when it comes over here, it's going to have to snake through here and uh, land on this side so that it only occupies one side of the conveyor belt. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, I came here for one thing and one thing alone. Well, two things actually. I came here for some steel too. Just gonna make sure there's enough wooden stuff. Um, now I needed the uh, hyperspeed lanes. Don't worry, I'll bring some of it back. Okay, this one's ex exhausted. I'll pick it up so I know like which ones are running, which ones are not. And uh, then after that we're gonna have to reconfigure this to extract every single last bit as that is the goal of industrialism, is to get the maximum out of what you have. And once that's done, we can uh, finally... Uh, I don't like nighttime. It's really dark. I never got to use the night vision. I don't know how to use it. It's like... Um, I don't know, is it fully implemented or is it not? <laughs> uh, I never got to use it. So let me just carve a path here. I can use my shotgun, but again, ammo conservation, conservation of mass, and all that stuff. Just gonna blitz past everything. That's a very straight line, I have to say. I'm really surprised. Usually I run into something, like a hole or a giant rock or something. And and then I have to go around it. Alright. In fact, I could just enter here. When I think about it, I could just enter here. <laughs> Let me upgrade this uh, path here. So that it's uh, a little bit better. A little bit faster. Whoops. There's like a fuel block over there. There you go. Oh. Uh. They just ran past everything. Um. Yeah, it's starting to get a little dangerous. Uh. Let us. Uh, I leave all these miners keep working. I'm gonna go get a bunch of uh, metal plates and I'm gonna make six more of my own personal miners. I'm gonna gather up all the steel. And we're gonna make a second gear fa we're gonna make this gear factory work at 150% now. Uh where is the gears? Gear, gear, gear. Gear.
Alright, let's put a bunch of fuel blocks in here. Let's put a bunch of fuel blocks in here. This will keep those furnaces going. So, okay, this, this section over here is full of metal ore. This section is not, however. I think that's because there's uh, they're, they're not using the uh, upgraded furnaces. So I'm going to build like a bunch of these as I as I have a little bit of time. I'm just going to upgrade all these furnaces, or as many as physically possible, as they are faster, more efficient, better, etc, etc, etc. Although we might be replacing them with the advanced uh, versions pretty shortly. So we will see. Also, I'm going to use the fast belts, and I'm going to upgrade the not fast belts to fast belts. And same over here. And over here as well. There you go. So now it's really fast belts. But now again, as you can see, because we have the upgraded furnaces, everything is going a lot faster. So we're going to need a lot more metal ore. And I mean a lot. So that's why I built like 10 uh, miners. I only have 7 though, I want 10. So let's go to our private chest here. And uh, get enough that we can last until the end of time, hopefully. But, uh, you know, the end of time is a very long time. So, uh... I'm gonna really need a car <laughs> in order to run all the way down there. As you guys watching me run might get a little boring. <laughs> also, I can't wait to get the hyper belt. This is gonna speed everything up uh, substantially. But we need this metal ore, whether you like it or not. So we are going to start harvesting it. I think I'm going to start harvesting it from the bottom to try not to piss off the critters. I think that would be the best method. This would, would be to harvest it from the bottom and uh, try as hard as possible not to piss off the critters. So let's see uh, what would be the most efficient way of doing this. 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 Because here we're if I do it this way, then I'm doing it in echelons. So there's an advantage and a disadvantage to doing it in echelons. It's going to need a little bit more management at the start. Just want to extract as much as possible without having to reconfigure everything every two minutes. There you go. There you go. Okay, cool. We should have enough poles to power the entire sequence. More or less. There you go. And now we just simply use the hyper belt. We lost the building. Where? Oh shit! We're losing buildings! Ah! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! God damn critters! God damn critters! God damn critters! Destroying my base! Luckily we're going to run down this thing and now we're going to have to run all the way back to uh, switch to the machine gun. Don't destroy the entire base please. This is the thing, it's unless you're building a wall, like a real wall, all the way around your base, it ain't going to work. At least on on this mode, it's um, you'll, you'll, you'll just be too slow. Uh, you're the one guy that got through, didn't you? Weren't you? You were the one guy that got through. Alright. There you go. 
Hopefully this is going to get the furnaces going again. Okay, we're going to need a turret over here. It seems like they like attacking this in the middle. Uh, do I have enough for a turret? Just one. No, I need some copper. Okay. A little bunch of turrets. I'm just going to place one in the middle because they always seem to attack this area here. Mm, they just sort of pull up there too. Mm, I hate these critters. Whoops. There you go. Is this running? Oh, it needs metal plates. Yeah, that's the one thing we're lacking. Is metal plates. Even with all this production, it's not enough. Okay, so now it's time to run back, and hopefully this time we won't be... Oh god, as you can see, they're just bypassing our defenses right now. Alright, I'm just gonna place turrets everywhere. <laughs> Just in case, like they get past our defenses and all that, they're just gonna run into a turret and I'll slow them down at least. Okay, so as uh, as before, we're gonna go on a little hiking trip all the way back down there, and we're gonna bring the resources in. If it was further than this, I think just using a train would have been better. Trains are uh, fast; uh, they're not as uh, Pardon me, I needed a drink. Uh, they're not as fast as uh, like the hyper belts, but they uh, do provide um, m more distance versatility type of thing. Okay, so we've got advanced metallurgy. Now what we can do is we can do the laser turret shooting speed. That's just going to allow the laser turrets to be much more efficient. And finally, we can start building up this area. In the middle there, there's a few thousand uh, units, but uh, down here there's only a few hundred. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to come back here from time to time and fix things. I'm trying to make this uh, uh, efficient. Hmm. Because as you can see, all the ore is now going to one side, so. I think I could just add a uh, a splitter. If I add the copper, mm, they pulled off an assault here. Okay, so this is gonna go here. This is going to be a whole different belt. Good. And these ones are going to feed into this one. Whoops. There we go. Like this. And this one is going to go up here, some way, shape, or form. And link up with the main line. There you go. And now this one is going to go down here. Whoops. And here and down here there you go so now this uh -oh. this line should provide all the metal we need in order to keep our plate 
factories going, at least for a while. But again, uh, I think we're going to have to start making the hyperspeed plates in order to keep production up. Okay, now let's think about these uh, steel uh, mills. I'm going to make... Oh, they require plastic. Okay. That changes things up. Alright, cool. So, just to increase efficiency here... We're going to go with the more advanced burners. Now we're just waiting for that... Uh, metal to come down the line. Okay, this is exhausted. So yeah, uh, so there you go. A steady stream of uh, metal ore is arriving in order to uh, get all what we need. Uh oh, whoops. Whoa, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting about certain things that I, that I don't want to, I don't want to happen, I don't want to have like a bunch of metal backed up over here. I didn't check that. <laughs> oh god, I'm a noob sometimes. Oh god, I keep forgetting about this thing, I keep forgetting about this thing. Erg. Okay, now how do you, um... Instead of having a separator, why don't we get a smart arm? What? Uh, just follow me here. Why don't we get a smart arm to simply grab fuel blocks as long as we give it a bit of power? There you go, and this goes here. There you go, dead simple. I hope nobody's using the uh, second portion. No, all right, good. So there you go. It's pretty dead simple. Anyways, the blocks were backing up almost all the way almost all the way to the factories, so we needed some room. So now that all these uh, metal uh, plates are being manufactured, I think we are finally set to continue um, research and other things as well. Let's research plastics. We're going to need that if we want to get the electric furnaces going. What does plastics need though? Let's go back to the tech tree. One coal and some petroleum gas. I think we're going to get advanced oil processing first because petroleum gas is like uh, is the mainstay of a lot of press processes. So now that we've got all the um, the colossal amount of uh, of factories going. And then let me fix this while we're here. Just go like this. Tick, 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 tick. Alright. There you go. Okay, now that this is set up in a defensive cordon, and that uh, we've got our supplies of uh, red and blue. Uh, we can finally just, um, what do we need to do next? I've been thinking. Hooray, we've got metal backing up, which is really good. As, uh, we're gonna need a lot of it. I don't think so, it's enough though. <laughs> it's never enough. As you can see, these gear factories are just consuming it like ballistic. Alright, so... Let us see the oil. 
Let's increase oil production. I'm gonna go get some more metal plates. Of course, I got my own little personal stash over here. And we can go over here and we can uh, make even more oil extractors. I need steel, which is abundant over here. Here, grab some of the fuel blocks I've been hoarding. So there you go, those things are going. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fix up the steel industry. So I am going to have a long arm uh no, it's not gonna work here. A long arm over here. With a fast conveyor over here. And it's gonna do this. And it's gonna do this. And we're gonna need some poles. Just give me the short range ones. There you go. I said, there you go. Okay, now we got the fuel blocks. Now how the hell do we get rid of this stuff? We're gonna have to get rid of these. We're gonna put these here. Uh, no, we're gonna need the, the bigger one. There you go, we're gonna make the bigger uh, poles once we construct the other oil wells. Just wanna have enough oil stockpiled so that we know uh, when we lack and when we need to build a massive grid in order to bring in more. How's the pollution looking? Oh shit, it look <clears throat> it's looking bad. These critters are gonna get pissed off. These critters over here are gonna get really pissed off. We're gonna have to either clear them out or do something about it. Okay, with that we can power these hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a long arm extractors. We're gonna take this. Uh, whoops, no, this ain't gonna work for this guy. Um, don't worry. Just a little change of plan. Just a little change of plan. Uh, there you go. Works perfectly. So now over here I'm just gonna put uh, one crate. Wherever it needs to go, I'm just gonna put one box down, an iron chest, and uh, one arm. It's just going to store the steel for me, and uh, I'll just uh, bring it out whenever I need it. There you go. Steel production is a go. Metal plate production is doing good. It's doing good. I think I could compress this even more and increase the amount of plates we can make. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Let's do that right now. Alright, so. Now let me make more. So one. There you go. Perfect. Now we need is... Uh, let's get rid of these poles here. A lot of them. And let's put the fast arms. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. And it's gonna be one per... One per... We're gonna, we're gonna have to again wait for stuff being manufactured on our hand. Which doesn't make any sense, but guess what? We're doing it.
like this. And now we can put one hole and a second one over here. And this will kick everything off. And now we just need the hands to extract stuff. There you go. So now we have increased production. I think I might have to increase the speed of the of this belt. Uh, let me run down to this factory here. Let me get rid of my old stuff. Uh oh. Power grid is suffering. What the what the fuck? I hope that thing's holding. It looked like it did, but I'm gonna have to go back up there and, and get it ready for some more. So, uh, as you can see, our uh, we're, we're starting to run out of power sometimes. So we're gonna have to uh, kick it in gear and get even more uh, power grid available. So what we can simply do is how how many squares can you split it? Only five. Alright, so we're gonna have to go around over here. Uh, let's get that splitter and put it over here. And get this whoops um, up here. And then we will bring it down and I'll figure out what I what I'm gonna do with this in a bit uh, we're gonna need a two pumps one or two doesn't matter a ton of pipes There you go. And then once that is uh, getting ready, we can start building a new power plant. So we're going to make this go to here. And then the normal pipes are going to go over here. and straight into um, the power plant's gonna have to go here I think uh, let's make six steam engines it's weird how such a massive building is just so easy to make <laughs> and what I'm gonna do just so that we can build another one off of this one we can do this put some space in between and now that we have uh, these steam engines we can start stacking them thank you plastics uh, I guess we might as well research solar for now we can do whatever we want in terms of research I don't see uh, there being any restrictions uh, let's get something like this going and connect it to the rest of the grid and then after that we uh, add a tiny pipe where is that pipe? add some pipe beforehand how come the pipes just keep disappearing? like the normal pipes alright put one here now that the water is flowing into these areas we can uh, finally build six uh, generators 
And I guess we're just going to build the normal arms. And... There you go. And extend the line just by a little bit. And then we can finally put down uh, one of these power poles that will supply power to the entire thing. And now the temperature is going to start raising until it reaches 100 degrees, hopefully. The goal is always 100 degrees. It's at 99, it's at 100. Alright, so now we've got a new power plant going over here uh, using very hot water and using uh, petroleum fuel blocks. This episode I was dragging for a while. Like, I don't know, this game's addicting to me. I guess it's just somebody if you if you like um, production and for your supply chains and and industry, you this is your this is your type of game. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do something like the this. Uh, we're gonna put one of these poles in the back here, connected to the connected to the rest. And we are going to build a bunch of pipes. Uh, damn it. Ugh. Okay, that, that, that one's connected. It's going to pump oil into this, which is going to pump it into the rest of the grid. But however, we need more metal plates, so we got to run back and get more metal plates. Uh, how wonderful. As you can see, even the fuel blocks are all backed up now. Fuel blocks are incredibly efficient, as far as I know. So, um, they're, they're basically the thing you want to use. Uh, I have plenty of steel, so... It's metal plates that I need. Alright, let's build a bunch of pipes. Run down here. And get this going. Alright, so now all these um, all these things are gonna pump oil directly into the um, into the storage tanks, and the storage tanks are just gonna hold the oil while we wait for it to be processed. So the critters attack this area again, I bet. Okay. And I think I'm gonna call this an episode. Seems like the oil is stalling though. Crude oil, crude oil, crude oil. Is it being stored or is it being used? 43, 44, 45. 44, 45, 66, 47. Yeah, it's going up, it's just that it's uh, being used uh, in this refinery as well. Uh, let's, uh, once we research solar energy, we can research the advanced, uh, stuff. Alright, now I need copper. I'm just gonna create a copper chest, for Christ's sakes. Here, let me make a metal, uh, let me get, get an iron chest. I'm gonna put it right next to the freaking mill. And I'm gonna put a normal arm. And I'm just gonna power it. A little. And there you go. I have my own copper supply. Anyhow, guys, if. Uh, uh, yeah. These guys are becoming relentless down there. Okay, see you guys later. I will.